four, three, two, we have ignition. Commit liftoff, we have liftoff. Well, look back to the George's period of time when our crew, it's uh, Molly Sherrod, Don Isley, and myself. When we got assigned to a crew, it was going to be the second Apollo mission. And the first Apollo mission was Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee. We had the same kind of spacecraft. I'm taking over a mission that my buddy was not able to fly. That was a tough, tough one. So with that, we went through a lot of trauma. Gus, Gus would be the first person to say, let's get on with it, do good work. And that was the kind of attitude I had going into Apollo. Apollo 7 became very important. If we had not had a success on Apollo 7, we really don't know what would have happened to the space program. Now it is time to take longer strides. Time for a great new American enterprise. Time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in space achievement, which in many ways may hold the key to our future on Earth. What happened with Apollo was an amazing series of events. We're trying to get to the moon before this decade is out. If you remember what Mr. Kennedy told us. We were smart enough to realize that going into space is, is different than just going up to 40,000 feet or uh, going supersonic, none of those kind of things. And that's what appealed to us. I think that we wanted to be part of that. We didn't mind working 80 bucks, 80 hours a week, because we knew we were going to do something different. Apollo 7 was in Earth orbit for 11 days. Today, I would tell people about this. That was the longest, it was the most ambitious, and the most successful first test flight of any new flying machine ever. And it's still true today, uh, 50 years later. In its complexity and in its, uh, in its application, that uh, it has never been duplicated. That, and that, that happened, you know, two generations ago. What made it work was the teamwork that developed and the understanding of who was responsible for what. We as a team worked, everyone worked, so it showed that uh, equality was necessary. We learned so much in science, space technology, computers much smaller, uh, semiconductors, all of this was from the uh, space program. Back then the objective was to get there. Now our objective is to stay there. We're going to go with a sustainable architecture. The next frontier is going to have to be Mars. And there will come a time when humans will go to Mars. Given a clear goal, I think humanity can accomplish anything. <laughs>